Black's brother. After we arrived in Blackall, sorry, Blackfell, his condition deteriorated and others find himself confused and easily agitated. What's worse is that he can't even recognize me anymore, let alone let me help. Kind of. I missed the last one. I want to show Marcus a photo of us together. Hopefully it'll bring back his memories. Ease his anxiety. It should be an activity center in Blackfell, Fallen Zone. We once sought refuge in that office. Took some photos with our comrades. I'd really like to go there myself, but I can't... Uh, I can't risk leaving Marcus here alone. Is he really helpless now? If you could help me out, I'll be sure to compensate you. Yeah, check it out. Great, thanks. A lot of these people just like automatically off the compensation for this. I guess that's nice and shit, but like, I don't know. Like I kind of, in this game at least, like expect to be doing this shit for nothing. It's a weird way to say that. Uh, I'd be way earlier if not for the fact that the tram uh was it and half 15 that got into uh which went north three stops later it turned out to be a tram uh north 18 as south of city oh my god i don't know what happened and kind of felt like i'm losing my mind fuck. i mean what the fuck oh bones dennis speak to dennis mobley what are you doing here? The mayor thinks he can hire some mercenary to scare us off? Ah. Uh, what's wrong with the mayor? Trent? He's a former Rosetta goon who took over the settlement out of nowhere. And now he's brought in so many outsiders that were running out of supplies. But you'd know all about that already, wouldn't you? Tell Trent. We're not scared of you, and we're not giving in. Yeah, I might be mistaken. Or either that, or I'm something different in the game. I also want to ask him about this commission. I learned that Vultures recently raided Rosetta facility. It's also in the Custer devices. The special container is filled with highly concentrated stardust. Vultures brought them back to their territory, Sunshine Farm. I could totally imagine how dangerous those bastards can be. Let's stop them before they use those things. You're up for it. I'll provide you with some bombs that can destroy the cluster device. What are you doing with bombs? Hey, we're all miners, and this is our bread and butter. To blow up specialized containers, though, you're going to need a rare high powered explosive. Oh, and a detonator. Unless you want to blow. <coughs> Sorry. You want to blow yourself up. Uh, a greater sense of range, more precise triggers. I know a guy who can make one for you, Eddie, the former Rosetta engineer. Rosetta engineer, are you kidding me? The founders of the original residence here were Simon Meyer and his friends. Eight years after Stealthfall, this is where they're driven out the former shelter after some kind of dispute. They wandered the wilderness until they summered down an untouched sandbank in the heart of the river. I've marked the location on the map for you. Got a bit of strange temper and doesn't like talking to outsiders. Tell Dennis I sent you. Alright. I guess i got to find where he is. What the fuck with the clipping house? Yeah, so sometimes when I travel around the map I move a little bit too quickly. And what happens is I sometimes render in inside of a like house or vehicle or something like that, right? So then when everything renders around me, you get like the scenario that the guy over there has where he's managed to get, like there's a couple of them in here, where they've managed to get the vehicle inside. They're not supposed to be able to get the vehicle inside because this is a safe area. This would be unusual to have that in here. And yeah. Like, they just have a mobile territory inside here now, so that's how that kind of works. Um, I have to talk to anybody at this location. Somebody called Ronald on the outside. Like, a half a dozen things here. And there's a story quest, too. Also, another gold one here. Talk to Trent, the mayor, to find out what's going on. Do the gold one. 
I need the estimation mark ones as well because they also do quests inside of areas. Uh, which one was Trent? Is he the cook? Jeff? He might be upstairs to be fair. Patch notes for upcoming 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, 1 1.1 what? Are we talk about seven days, we're talking about once human. Let me know. It's like, I've seen part- oh, I didn't make it quite up. I've seen <coughs> once human, sorry. I've seen part of the patch notes, like before stream, for once human, and it was a lot. I didn't get a chance to read them all. Um, but I read like most of what was going to be relevant and stuff. I kind of already knew because before that, hold on, I think, where is Discord? They had uh, in their once human section, uh, they had, they had game news released uh, a couple of days ago. Um, let's see when they actually posted that. Yeah, basically like three days ago in the game news section of their Discord, they updated like a whole heap of information on how scenarios and seasons and stuff works and a little bit about what was coming. And then on their website, they also have a little bit of information about what's coming. And then their patch notes section in Discord, I haven't seen it on Steam yet. I definitely saw it on Discord and holy shit is in the novel. Um that has like so much about what they're planning to do and what they're adding. Like you should be able to like ranch animals and shit, which I don't personally care much for. <coughs> and maybe it'd be good. Maybe it'll help you harvest stuff. I did see something about um, that some of the animals might help you defend your base sense because if anybody else has seen the bears on the map like goddamn I could see that being useful hi Trent Let's talk to Trent yes can I help you is it what time is it there it is 1 10 a.m. but me I stream between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. uh Monday to Friday every week unless I'm like sick sicker than this and then i take a night off or something or if i've got like some kind of personal appointment or something they'll take a night off um this place seems pretty on edge that's one way of putting it we've already had two riots now it feels like we're on the verge of a civil war you may have run into a man named dennis mobley he's the leader of blackfell's oil workers he claims I took over Blackfell and let in more outsiders than we can support. Now he's instigated a strike that's crippled the settlement. Uh, anything I could do to help? Trying to get an outsider like you to restore order would only kick up this hornet's nest. No. The only way this will end is if Dennis backs off. Hey, sorry to butt in, but there's actually something I do think you could help with. My name's Pauline Holt, by the way. I run the settlement's restaurant. Why don't you meet me there and we'll discuss the problem? Right. My question is, what the fuck was she doing up there at that time? It was like, I, I literally just came up to ask this guy something. Usually they have like multiple questions. And it's generally worth asking them everything because it's probably still a quest. I just don't feel up to that tonight, so I'm not going to ask them every question. I'm either going to get this game, like, up to date, finished kind of thing before the next, like, section opens, or I'm not. <clears throat> yeah, I managed to read both scenario information, patch notes. The way they solved it is amazing. Yeah, I think so. The, the main thing was, like, uh, once human does a lot of surveys with like its player base and stuff and they have a big player base and the ones that are actually giving like actual information and feedback and shit are helping um in the sense like for instance 
one of the specific things I said as a complete novice to this style of game was that there was a lot to learn, a lot to figure out, and some of the biggest creators, you know, uh, content creators and stuff like that are literally refusing to play the game and or deleting it because they don't feel inclined to play a game that resets every six weeks. But when I read the notes on day one, that's not what it felt like they were going to be doing. So it it made me wonder where this information was coming from. And I could kind of get it. It seemed like it was coming from, uh, like, in here it's pretty well, like, explained and stuff. But, like, some of it, it's like, oh, you won't get some of this kind of thing. It's like your resources and shit. And it's like, okay, that's not really a problem. And I think your levels and your resources and shit get, like, reset and your house gets reset and all sorts of stuff. But the thing is, like, if you want to be able to do, like, a house scenario, you can save your design so you don't have to fucking rebuild it. Like, there's that too. Like, there's lots of little things that can help you progress pretty quickly. Um, the most, most important, be able to herd wolves. Yeah, you and, like, a few people be highly interested in that. Also, if somebody could just let uh, Yonki know that, like, they've got time to like grab a drink or something like that adds it's like once an hour for like a few minutes so just because like i know at this point they probably can't hear me <clears throat> hey pauline what is the thing good you're here this might sound crazy but i think i know why the settlement's tearing itself apart blackfell was founded by my uncle ted halt he was real i swear he was real but now, it's like he never existed. No one remembers him. This whole conflict between Dennis and Trent, I think it's related to the amnesia about my uncle. How do you think people have forgotten him? I don't know. There's more to it than just memory loss. Everyone here is getting angrier, too. Like their grudges are the only things they can remember. Take Trent and Dennis. They used to be super close, but now it's like they're blood enemies. Something weird is causing all this. So, I've marked down any places I could remember with a connection to my uncle. One of them might be related to our troubles here. If you can check them out, I'd be glad to reward you for your help. All right, the other thing I want to do too, because I haven't got a chance to do it yet, is I just want to see this come out. It's kind of creepy. And it's a lot less creepy than the actual thing was. But yeah. Oh man, it's getting... It's happiness is going down so fucking fast. That's so short. I don't know if that's going to be actually good for battle. Like, for, like, boss battles and stuff. I already love it. Oh, what the fuck was that? Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. Nick already loves it too, actually. He's used it in battle and it's pretty good. I saw this thing over on this table and I don't know what it is. Canning recipe. Alright. So, I got myself a recipe. Where did that go? There it is. Alright. Oh, I got... Wait, was that cookies? Can I get a recipe for cookies? Oh, come on, cookies. Like, I want, like, proper, like, sweets kind of cookies. Honestly, I just want food. <laughs> but, um, my body does not actually want food. Like, I, I tested that theory earlier, and the answer is still a pretty strong no. Um, it also wants me to go over to Black Hole Oil Fields... Facilities are on cooldown, so somebody's used it. I've still got 18 hours before I can touch that. But what I can do is I can get the story quest that's over here. And I can go and flick on a couple of rifts around the place. I probably won't have time to do, like, another full like, monolith or silo or something like that tonight. <coughs> but I might be able to activate a couple of rifts, you know. 
Um, oh my god, of course he does. <laughs> yeah, of course. So I like when I got it out. I'm like, I bet if Shadow's watching, he's probably gonna like this thing too. And yeah, it's quite funny. I've explained to Nick the whole like, you know, the things that he likes, things you like, and stuff like that. I find it funny. Um, voice sounds stronger. My voice is probably a little more. Looks like an abandoned settlement. Whatever happened here. Hopefully, we can get to the bottom of it. My voice doesn't feel as in pain, however painkillers could be working. And I did take antibiotics right before stream too. What? What do you mean phrasing? I don't know what I said. This guy's name's Dicky, so I mean we can't get too high on phrasing here. You must be the mayfly Mr. Lowe told me about. I'm glad you're here. I need your help. What kind of trouble are you facing? Two locals that live in this area. Rosetta took them. A mother and daughter. They're being held at Rosetta's LEA research laboratory. Not too far from here. Mr. Lowe <laughs> said you'd be able to get them out of there safely. Yes. I'm pretty sure they intend to run experiments on them. There's a few dig creatures around here too. I also think like ads are probably over by now, but if anybody is new and that hasn't had the ads and stuff before, I have like ads like once an hour, basically. The idea obviously is, is if like you don't click away and stuff like that, it'll end up, um, you know, kind of just having ads once an hour for like a couple of minutes. The idea is kind of like, uh, this has got two. The idea is kind of like it's just long enough that you've got time to go grab a drink or It'll complete a task or something like that but it's not so like interruptive because like uh the kind of way twitch works is that um basically if i don't put a certain amount of ads or a certain length of ads and stuff on my content they will slap you with pre-roll ads for like 20 30 seconds every single time you get into the stream um, so every time you have to refresh and stuff, you'll get slapped off ads. Um, and as far as I understand, I don't know if I get monetized for that as well. So that would mean that you'd be getting ads for like no benefit to me. Um, which, you know, is kind of the main reason why most people put up with ads for a little bit sort of thing. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, if you see ads go up, sometimes I get notified that they're going to happen. And sometimes, sometimes Streamlabs just doesn't. But um, yeah, if you see them come up, you'll have time to like grab a drink or something. Sometimes you can get like one ad, sometimes you can get eight ads. Kind of like it pick and chooses kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to stop pre-roll ads if you happen to refresh and shit. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just what I consider to do. I also do get a little bit more revenue and stuff like that from it. So, and this is my job, so any kind of like monies and stuff like that is always appreciated. Even if, even if you're not in a position to like do financial supports and stuff like that, which is not something that I expect from anybody ever anyway. But, uh, you know, watching an ad and stuff like that, it's just a little bit of time kind of thing. I also don't know how far in this fucking riff thing is. I gotta just hit on. Oh, there's a couple here. Let's see what you guys do. I would probably freak out if I saw that thing running at me. I wanna help it kill it. To see it duplicate. There we go, we got two. Can I get more than that? Yep, three. Okay, so it was able to kill one or two of them. That's interesting though. I'll be back. I also put my uh my creature thing away. Oh, that's right, I gotta run up this fucking thing. <coughs> yeah. I bet if I pull this thing out, the shadow is gonna like it. Lol. I, I'm pretty sure I said like, but if I pull this thing out, then like shadow is gonna like it and stuff like that. But like, I mean, that could go anywhere. 
that conversation could literally be anything. Like, you can't prove nothing. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't really care. Um, it was pretty sus. Just generally speaking, on I don't know. My, my brain's not there for like non-sus related stuff, honestly. For like figuring out when I've said something a bit dodgy. Actually, it might be on the ground around here. No, it is up there. I was hoping I might be able to trigger it down here. <coughs> Sorry. I just kind of like sneeze then. I need to hit this. Okay, activate it, please. Alright, that's one on. So the other thing too is that a lot of these level 45 areas, I noticed that they had multiple rift anchors. Can you stop shooting me for a second, mate? Let me just stand up here so I can see where the next rift anchor is. Okay, I don't think he can get me from here. The other one's on the other side, but yeah, all the fucking 40 ones, almost all of them got two. So just a heads up with that. I don't know if that means that I'm gonna need more. A player on my server, nice. That's the other thing too, is it's kind of difficult with like all the different servers, depending on like what time zone and stuff. Like, um, I know you were asking before like what time it is for us and stuff, but I didn't actually ask you in return like what kind of time frame it is for you. Cause like I know with Shadow, it's like, I think early afternoon kind of thing. Um, Mirthless would be like morning, like breakfast time. Oh, that fence is... Oh no, there's a gap there. I say that fence would be like solid all the way around. Um, I'm still not like honed in on exactly what time of day it is for Sariel yet. I'm working on it. Um, I'm, I'm still very new to like the logistics of Sariel. Um, I need health. There we go. Yeah, you are. I'll leave the I'll leave the doggo with you. I get rid of these guys because honestly, if they happen to come up that particular walkway after that, it's like good on them. All right. Charge and keep the target in sight. But my dog's just running back down the thing. Weird. I haven't heard them say that. Let's put you back. It's 12, 24am, 14. Uh, are you in Perth or like something along those lines? Because that would make kind of sense. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, okay, I got two of them. I don't know how many it's going to need. Oh yeah, I fought Manubius at one point. I don't know what Operation Chiron is, but this place has a riff anchor I could get to. This place is closer, but it's a it's a monolith area, and I don't want to go into that yet. Nothing else over here. So there's one beneath me. That one's got nothing. All right, yeah, I gotta go downwards. I gotta go activate this one. I don't even know if that actually highlighted it then. Um. I said my maps aren't really like showing me what they need to do but yeah maybe I missed that I what I was asking if you're like maybe in Perth or something um because like that would make sense because Perth is usually two hours behind Queensland um but then again you could be like along that same kind of like uh part of the equator sort of thing not equator you know the timeline type thing Whatever. Time and space. Um, I'm pretty sure you've said before it's like um uh it starts with an M. I don't think you're in Perth, I think No, that might be light source actually. I think about it. Cause I was thinking it was like Missouri or something. But then I'm like, no, I think that's light source. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I'm generally like all over the place with like remembering shit. Depending on like what time you guys come in and what sort of your regular activities are. 
the 5 26 p.m. here or quite the difference it definitely is the other thing too is also shadows are day behind as well so yeah because it's technically the 15th for me it's like 1 27 a.m. on the 15th so and only gives me like as much as I need to know as like we're usually like where I am is the GM plus oh, like GM plus 10 I think so we're generally like I think 10 hours ahead of central time or some shit yeah I think that's how that works still the 14th whoops <laughs> uh, oh man you should have seen it I got the uh the four-wheeler truck thingy earlier and Nick and I were driving alongside each other and I was like I wonder if it allows me to like ride into like his space and stuff <coughs> and it sent us flying specifically it sent my car flying in all kinds of directions and Nick's like just watching and I'm like ah, it's just a regular drive for me this is on point kind of thing and he's like yeah I can't actually like contest that and I'm like yep oh I gotta go back down this way I'm gonna say east coast so LA three hours behind me uh, I'm not familiar with LA's times yet um but I do know of like Texas's times is like probably by now it's gonna be like nearly 10 a.m. I think I think this is trying to take me home I think Texas time is like nearly 10 a.m. Oh, uh, is that that's gold down there? I don't. I will stop for gold because gold's like 12,000 energy link. I mean, it's gonna get sold, but I can trade it for um, star chrome stuff and uh, blueprints and shit. So I consider it good money, as long as I can sell it before um, the thingy for the reset. I don't know how time zones work. I could ask you what the weather be the next day. Do you know how many people I actually have asked me that? It's like, you know, the, uh, you know how there's like always a set number of like overly frequently asked jokes? And it's always like, it's like, what's tomorrow's weather going to be like? What's tomorrow's, what's the lotto, uh, tickets and, you know, stuff like that? Like, the biggest thing is like, as I've said before, people forget that like I'm in winter when they're in summer and stuff like that and vice versa. So like I get all sorts of really fucking odd conversations. I really do. It's not really something that I, I thought would be oh, like, yeah, I, I wasn't really like expecting it and stuff, but yeah. So, seriously, I'm a fucking god cringe jokes. Look. There have been some cringe jokes, probably the worst ones I've seen when somebody comes in and they try to make a joke about something that's potentially like a viral thing going off on uh, like, you know, just general internet and stuff like that. And of course, like, I'm just not keeping up with shit and I don't know what it is. And then like the cringe, oh shit, the cringy part is that I find out like a day or so later, I probably could get up here. I find out like a day or so later through taking the t taking the time to like look it up myself that it's actually been like some kind of like hypersexualized kind of joke or something like that and I'm like oh my god because like the thing is like in the moment because I have no clue what it is I'm like I don't know what it is you should you should tell me um like I'm not fresh up on my memes and stuff and and of course, like, nobody can actually, like, specifically answer the question because they'll get their ass banned and shit. But, like, yeah, every, everybody at least tests the waters with that shit once. And the worst part is, like, if I happen to know, if I happen to know on the moment when the joke happens, they get, like, timed out or banned or whatever anyway um, for, like, just inappropriate shit. Um... But yeah, the, the cringe in it is the fact that, like, uh, people try to get away with this shit. It looks like it goes down. It does look like it goes down all the way down there. 
my question is, I can't kind of get just up 